Hi, my name is Christian Delfino from Roland Systems Group, and we're here at Full Compass giving you an exclusive preview of the brand new Roland M200i vMixer. This is a really unique vMixer. It's our first all-in-one vMixer, but what's really great about it is it's the perfect combination of the flexibility and mobility of being able to take your mixing interface with an iPad with the precision and the reliability of hardware that you're used to from digital consoles. Now, what we've done is created a, a, a work surface that hijacks basically all the power of the iPad and you can connect to your iPad in multiple ways. One, I can connect it just by docking it. If I want a really secure connection, I just plug this right into the uh, side of the iPad and it will charge my iPad and make sure that I have a secure connection. Other ways to connect it, I, can, I have a LAN port on the back of the console that I can connect into my existing network. I can also use the Roland Wireless Connect uh, dongle, and this is USB right into the back of the console, and this will allow the console to communicate by Wi-Fi, but also will allow the console to create its own network if I want. So lots of different ways to be able to get uh, your iPad communication to the console. Now, one of the great things about uh, vMixers and digital consoles in general, of course, is uh, you know moving faders that we have. So all of the features from our, our, our professional uh, higher-end uh, vMixers, the M480 and the M300, are built in here in the M200i. So moving faders that you would expect, 300 scenes uh, for recall, incredible DSP on your channels. So your EQs are four band fully parametric. You have a gate and a compressor, uh, both with uh, full key and filters available, um, as well as uh, uh, eight auxiliary outputs and four matrices. And the matrices are full buses, so you can route all of your uh, channels to there, giving you a full 12 uh, mixes in addition to your stereo left and right. So on the back of the console, uh, this is a 32 channel console by the way, uh, you do have 16 mic pre's on the back as well as six TRS balanced inputs and then uh, two RCA's uh, on the inputs as well. So for all of your wireless uh, microphones, your CD player, etc., you can plug those uh, right in and then we also have a React port built in as well for expandability that we'll talk about in a moment. Now let's get back to the iPad portion of this and I'm just going to pull this off and what you can see is the iPad rest that we've created it actually allows you to adjust it to be able to go to uh, different angles, uh, so whatever you're most comfortable with in terms of operation, if you're sitting down, standing up, etc. This is a rack mountable console, so these sides come off, you can put rack rails on here, put it in a, a wheelie cart if you want, or even vertically rack mount it uh, right in there. Uh, so you're able to pull the iPad out or for future operating systems that we support, and you can notice that my iPad actually has a case on it, I don't have to take my case off. Uh, to be able to use it here with the M200. So if I pull this uh, over here, uh, what's great about the iPad app is we've given you just about every feature from the console that you can access right from the iPad. This is a very early version, but I'm gonna show you some of the features that we've already developed in here um, for the console. So let's, uh, there's really a few different ways to use the M200. One of them would be taking your iPad out, just like I'm doing here, and walking around your facility. So uh, obviously I would have channel control parameters, and right now we're not currently connected, but when I move the faders, I would obviously get fader movement on the console. But I can select a channel that I want to edit, and I can come up with a full overview of my channel from the channel edit screen. You can see I have gate, compressor, EQ, and this is more fully featured than the typical iPad app that you're going to get with your uh, console or the iPad apps that come for other consoles. This is really an integral part of the interface of the console. So if I want to go in and edit the EQ, as you might imagine, I can move around the uh, EQ. I can also choose uh, frequencies here, low, mid, um, high, mid, etc., and be able to change those uh, precisely here. If I want to switch to compressor, I can do that. Uh, again, the ability to move things around here. Also, if I pinch, I can adjust the knee, for example. And again, we do have really robust DSP in the M200. This gives us a full key and filter. So if you wanted to, uh, for example, just get a specific frequency uh, to use as your key in for your compressor, uh, you can do that right here. And also go down and adjust the sends for this particular channel. All from here, adjust my send points, etc. Another great thing uh, about what we've done with the iPad and the M200 is the ability to patch. So I can go in and uh, say I'm on stage, I'm working alone, I can take the iPad to the stage and uh, change the patching as I'm changing uh, inputs right from the iPad. Uh, and this is uh, kind of a, 
a unique feature that you won't find in other iPad applications. So really makes your workflow totally different from what you might have done uh, before. So lots and lots of features, everything you expect, the ability to edit graphic EQs, the ability to do sends on fader, um, these kinds of things are all possibilities uh, that are in here as a part of the uh, iPad app. And more and more features coming, DCA management, uh, mute group management, uh, you know, system management, etc., all from the iPad. So that's one way to use it, is actually to undock it and move it, uh, uh, walk around your facility uh, with your iPad. Another way to use it is a great feature that we're calling touch and turn. So what you would do is put your iPad into the dock, and I'm going to pull up one of the channels here as an example, and what would happen uh, when you're uh, when you have your iPad here, as you select a channel here on the M200, it will change the uh, channel that you have displayed on your iPad, just like you would expect with a traditional digital console changing the screen. But what's great is uh, the precision that you can get by using the hardware controls from the M200. So what you'll be able to do is just simply, for example, here I want to hit this gain. I can hit the gain and I will be able to adjust that with this value knob right here. So again, the precision of hardware. Often with an iPad, it's hard to get an exact 1 dB increment, for example, if you're adjusting a gain or an EQ setting or something like that. So very quickly able to just bang, bang, bang around with the parameter that you want and then use the value dial to be able to adjust that. Very easy way to do it. Now, if you don't have an iPad handy, uh, you can do all of the settings right from the vMixer. So it's fully functional. There's a little interface screen here that you can use. And uh, I would simply choose the channel that I want to work on. Uh, say I want to work on the EQ. I would hit EQ, and then I would be able to move around to the parameter that I want and adjust it with the value dial. So if uh, something happens to your iPad, uh, you know, somebody steps on it mid-show or something like that, you can still operate everything right from the vMixer. In addition to this, we will have uh, a version of our RCS software, uh, same thing that we have for our M480 and M300, and that's a USB connection from your computer uh, to the console, and that will give you a nice uh, graphical user interface that you can put right next to the console if you want to be able to use a bigger screen on that. So that's a, a nice advantage there. So lots and lots of different interfacing, very modern, very unique, very fast, and uh, very cool uh, workflow at the end of the day as well. Now, uh, of course, uh, this vMixer uh, shares the legacy of all of the existing vMixers, the M480 and the M300. So we have the ability to add uh, to the React port that's on this unit, say for example a digital snake. So you could use our 1608 digital snake to increase your mic pre from 16 to 32. Of course that also gives you the ability to put the snake up to 330 feet away from the console and use it as remote I.O. So that can be on the stage or if you just want more local inputs you can just bring that snake right to uh, where the M200i is on its own. And of course all the, uh, the mic pre's are remote controllable. You can patch, uh, choose from snake inputs or console inputs to any channel that you want. Uh, so very, very flexible. All of the great features from the vMix are built right in. Uh, also from the React port, you could connect to a, uh, a PC and you could run Sonar React Recording to track up to 40 channels of digital audio directly to a PC through the Cat5 uh, connection uh, to the computer. Uh, so a nice uh, recording solution as well. And then of course the M48 personal mixing system, truly the best personal mixing system on the market used by artists such as uh, Celine Dion, uh, uh, you know, Lakewood Church, uh, lots of the biggest names in the business using the M48s. You can put the M48s on uh, this vMixer and the management would be achieved uh, by using the RCS uh, software. So lots of expansion abilities. Also the M200, if you're already a vMix uh, system owner, the M200i can be located uh, as a broadcast console or as a split console uh, if you wanted to do monitor mixing, etc. cetera. Um, and again, just using the Cat5 port, you can get all your audio channels, or 40 of your audio channels, excuse me, from your main console directly into the M200i. So the M200i, brand new, ships in January 2013. Please call your Full Compass Sales Pro to find out more details, more information. Again, the very early preview, but a very exciting product.